Hey, today I'm going to show you how to check and also monitor fuel rail pressure on a fuel injected car. So what I'm going to be doing is adding an inline fuel pressure gauge to this MY99 WRX. It's got the EJ205 engine. So let's get into it. So we're obviously going to need some componentry for the job. So we need a fuel pressure gauge rated for EFI. So 0 to 100 is a good range for that. This one's a Speco liquid filled gauge. They're apparently more accurate. Okay, she has a 1 8 NPT thread on the back. It's a direct fitment gauge. Also need an inline adapter. So this has got 5 16 or 8 mil barbs straight through with a 1 8 NPT thread so we can screw our gauge into. Also need some thread tape and some EFI clamps. All of this stuff's just available from your local auto parts store. Alright, so let's build up the little inline adapter. There's our gauge. There's our adapter. What we're going to do is just wrap the thread on the gauge with some thread tape. Have it nice and tight so it pulls into the threads. Slowly work down towards the front of it. That, I'm going to say that's enough. Alright, just like that. And you see where we wound it on, we wound it the opposite way to the way we're going to screw it in, so that when we screw it in, it doesn't unwrap. So now we fit it to our adapter. And if you've got enough tape on there, it should feel nice and smooth. You shouldn't feel the coarseness of the brass. Okay. So now we're going to get some spinners and do this up nice and tight. Remember this has got to be fuel proof and not just drip proof but pressure proof. So use the nut on the back of the gauge. Don't screw it with the face of the gauge for goodness sakes. It looks like it's going to work out, so it's when it's in line, it's going to be fairly square, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so it's really as simple as that, guys. Now it's just a matter of putting it on the car. So now it's just a matter of picking a place where to put it. It needs to be on the feed line of the fuel rail, because that's the one that's pressurised, okay? Because the return line isn't pressurised after the fuel pressure regulator. So it has to be on this inlet. Um, it's a good idea to put it after the fuel filter because then it's a good indication of your fuel filter condition if it's getting full flow of fuel. So we also need to clear the bonnet. So I think I'm just going to put it in line here in this little space here. 
and you'll be able to read it from the front there. It'll still clear our bonnet. There's nothing in the road. I think that'll be a good place. So what we need to do now is depressurize the fuel rail. So the way we do that is we clamp off the fuel feed hose and then run the engine until the rail runs out of fuel. So you just get a line clamp like this one. I'm just going to clamp it off here before the filter. Okay, now I'm just going to crank the engine over, it'll kick and splutter a bit just while it's using up the empty fuel in the rail until the rail's empty. Alright, it didn't fire at all, so she is really truly empty. Alright, so have a bit of rag ready because you are going to spill some fuel. doesn't hurt to put a pair of safety glasses on just in case there's a bit of residual pressure like these. So we'll bung them on and we're going to put our gauge just about there. Okay. So now I'm going to make an incision just here. Let's see, had a little bit of fuel there. That's why it's always safety first. Right, we'll take this sheath off because we don't need that anymore. Alright, so on goes our clamp. On goes our gauge, adapter and gauge. And the other side, shortcut around there like that, and cut it about, about there, cut it about there, and a second clamp. Clamps down here and do them up. Here we are. There it is in place. Nice and neat. Now let's feed it some fuel and see what happens. So we're going to do the line clamp off the fuel hose and turn the key to prime it. There you are, 40 pounds of rail pressure on the first prime. Before we start, let's check for any leaks. Looks dry. Cool. Alright, let's uh, start the engine and see what we get.
Cool. So there we go. That's a good way of checking what's happening with your fuel rail pressure. And if it's working right, like this one, you'll see pressure when it primes. And then once you uh, just open the throttle a little, little bit and reduce the manifold vacuum, that raises the fuel rail pressure via the fuel pressure regulator. If that didn't happen, that would help diagnose a problem with the fuel pressure regulator. So everything seems to be in order. So there we go, simple as that. That's an easy way to permanently check and monitor your fuel rail pressure. So cool guys, until next time, keep on sharing and subscribing. See you next time on Nev's Garage.